I have two brief questions I'd like to ask, if I may. When you were carrying out that incredible moonwalk, did you find that the surface was equally firm anywhere, or were there harder and softer spots that you could detect? And secondly, when you looked up at the sky, could you actually see the stars and the solar corona in spite of the glare? The uh, first part of your question, the, the surface did vary in its thickness of penetration, somewhere uh, in, in rather flat regions, uh, the, the uh, footprint would penetrate perhaps a half an inch or sometimes only a quarter of an inch and gave a very firm response. In other regions near the edges of these craters, uh, we could find that the foot would, would sink down maybe two, three, possibly four inches. And in, in the slope, of course, the uh, various edges of the footprint would, might go on up to six or seven inches and uh, compacting this material would, would tend to uh, produce a slight sideways motion as it was compacted on the material underneath it. So uh, we feel that uh, you, you cannot always tell just by looking at the terrain what the exact resistance will be as your foot sinks into a, a point of firm contact. So one must be quite cautious in, in moving around in this rough terrain. We were never able to see stars from the lunar surface or on the daylight side of the moon by eye without looking through the optics. Uh, I don't recall during the period of time that we were photographing the Sona Corolla what, uh, what stars we could see. I don't remember seeing any.